So now let's talk about another case. So like we've got clients that are already ISO 27001 certified. Um, and But at the time that we constructed that, 800-171 or CMMC were not a requirement. Um, so my thought process as a consultant, if I was on the phone with them, is I'd say, you know, you're likely meeting many of the requirements of CMMC, but certainly not all of them. You know, so as an example, if you only need to be L1 or L2, you know, level one or level two, we're probably in pretty good shape. If you need to get, you know, up to three, four, and five, you probably have a pretty fair amount of work to do. Uh, your thoughts as an auditor? Well, the most important thing is, from an auditor's perspective, is that you need objective evidence. Whether you are doing ISO 27001 or the CMMC, you're going to have to provide objective evidence that you've implemented um, information. You have documentation, records, or systems that demonstrate compliance to either the ISO 27000 requirement or in the case of the CMC, is you have the ability to demonstrate you have implemented those practices. Um, one of the biggest challenges for the, doing CMMC is that because many of the practices are have a technical focus, people may have the tendency to refuse uh, to uh, ignore the administrative side. That is, you know, not having policies for each of the domains, not having plans that specify what is your approach and the resources that you're going to use and apply to ensure that you implement, maintain, monitor and maintain each of those practices. So for instance, you know, if you say, hey, great, I can show you that uh, I've got uh, the screen savers and all these things, you know, the timing issues resolved, all the technical issues resolved like when you walk away from your computer. But if you don't have a documented procedure that specifies, well, hey, this, make sure that that's implemented and provides the resources for it, you may have a shortfall there.